All right, what's going on? It's Nick. I'm out here. Uh, I'm actually in the mountain. You can kind of see it's like covered in snow out here. We got a little uh, snowstorm in the last few days, but uh, I'm just checking out this land that's for sale. And, you know, we're going to build a house in the spring. And building a house and doing mortgage marketing, I can kind of draw a lot of parallels between those two things because a lot of times it's just a matter of getting started, right? It's like that fear of starting like where do you start what if you don't know enough what if you're not smart enough what if you know what if it doesn't work right and I have some of those same fears about building a house but at the end of the day like I'm just going to start I'm just going to do it so whatever happens you know we'll make adjustments along the way right ready fire aim that's that's the motto how we get it done right here but with mortgage marketing in 2017 right there's some ways that you can do things and Really set yourself apart. And in 2017, in order to attract, like, my goal for clients is always to have a minimum of 10 really strong referral partners. Okay. And in order to get 10 referral partners, you need basically three things. Okay. Number one, you need to have your back end systems in place. And what do I mean by that? I mean that you can get a loan done, right? I mean that. Your interest rates are competitive, that you close on time and your docs are ready on time and all those silly things that, you know, some companies don't have in place, okay? A lot of these things that I'm talking about right now with your back end, it's all about your company. It's not even about you as a loan officer. It's like, does your, you know, processing department, do they get it done? Does your funding department, you know, fund? Does your um, docs department? Do they get the docs out on time? Do your underwriters, you know, underwrite in a timely manner so that everything can get done on time? So you have to have your back end systems in place, number one. Okay. Then number two, you have to have some kind of unique selling proposition. Okay. USP. You have to have something that sets you apart from the other loan officers in your market. You can see I'm kind of traipsing into the snow, man. It's pretty crazy out here, but awesome at the same time. Um, so yeah, you have to have a USP, right? You have to have something that sets you apart. Like in some cases that can be that the fact that you can lead generate in some cases, it could be that you're really good at video marketing. It, it might be that you're good at getting on Google or you're good at blogging or you're good at database marketing, email marketing. Like at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter, right? What, what that thing is, you just have to have something that sets you apart. Okay, it's the reason that we teach the agent attraction system inside Mortgage Marketing Mastery because you have to have something that sets you apart. And the agent attraction system is exactly what that does. It's 100% designed to set you apart from other loan officers in your market so you can get belly to belly with 8 to 20 realtors every single month and have a chance to earn their business, right? And once you have your back end in place, once you have your... Uh, unique selling proposition and once you're getting an opportunity to earn the business and you start creating these referral partners the next thing is you want to become friends right i mean at the end of the day business is so much better when you're doing business with friends okay so you want to develop a friendship in some cases that can be done in group events and group settings in other cases that needs to be done one-on-one right but um that's, that's really the three things that you have to have in 2017. I mean, look, you can be a total dummy, okay? You can literally be brand new in the business and know nothing about the mortgage business. But if you can deliver those three things where your back end is in place, you have something to attract realtors that's different from everybody else in your market. And if you become friends and you really cultivate relationships with your business partners and obviously with your database and other things, right? But right now we're talking about particularly getting realtors and mortgage marketing in 2017. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you, right? Like it's not that difficult. Okay. You just have to have something that sets you apart from everybody else so that you can get their attention. And then once you have their attention, keep it right. You just have to know how to do that. If that's something that you want help with, that's a big piece of what we do Inside of the six-week mortgage marketing mastery program, it's group training done all online. And yeah, we go over the agent attraction system and it's going to solve 
a lot of these issues that we're talking about, right? How do you create a unique selling proposition? How do you attract realtors? How do you get their attention? How do you keep their attention? What are some ways that you can build relationships and build a friendship quickly, right? So, yeah, I mean, if you want to find out more about that, probably a link right around here. You can also go to salesclubhouse.com slash mastery and you can check that out or shoot me a message here. I guess if you're on YouTube or Facebook or wherever you happen to be seeing this video. And uh, yeah, hopefully in the future, I don't know if it's going to be this lot, but in the spring, you'll be able to see progress on our house being built. So yeah, excited about that. Look forward to chatting with you. Hey, if you like this video and you're a loan officer, you're looking for more ways to grow your business, or you're a realtor or insurance agent, anybody that's into marketing and you like what I'm talking about here, hey, be sure to subscribe down below. All right? See ya.